Sensors, originally developed for detecting explosives and toxic gases, have been reprogrammed to identify the chemical markers of cancer. The breathalyzer, created by Owlstone Medical, can detect and identify multiple chemicals in a gas flow at very low concentrations, typically parts per billion. The 1,500 people in the clinical trial will wear a special mask fitted with collection tubes and breathe normally for 10 minutes. Lead investigator Rebecca Fitzgerald says it's a simple procedure. These tubes, simple though they, they look, um, this is one of the things that's made a real difference in this technology looking so promising because for the first time the chemicals that are breathed out um, in the breath can be collected in these tubes and immediately stabilized. So as you keep breathing you're capturing more and more of those chemicals um, and you're building up a profile of the chemicals in your body that have been exhaled on the breath. The tubes are then sent to Owlstone's lab where the volatile organic compounds in the breath are analyzed. Those VOCs, as they're called, are produced by the body's normal metabolism. Changes in metabolic activity can produce particular patterns of VOCs, which can be biomarkers of specific diseases. By picking out minute traces of cancer, Owlstone's co-founder Billy Boyle says treatment can begin early with a greater chance of success. The challenge is most people present when it's very late stage uh, and it's about managing symptoms as opposed to curing them. So the key thing that you can do is detect the disease early and that's what we think the breathalyzer technology uh, allows for, picking it up at that earliest stage when it's treatable. The trial is currently limited to patients with suspected esophageal and stomach cancers but will be extended later to include patients with other cancers. And doctors will be watching the two-year trial closely. Faith Lapidus, VOA News.